Hey, have you ever had pink pizza? That's right, I'm asking you if you've ever had pink pizza. Well, you can now if you're in Cabot or Central Arkansas right here at the Pink Pepperoni. It's this brand new food truck that has folks raving about. It was started by, get this, a mechanical engineer and a graphic designer. I know, crazy duo, but I'm telling you, the food is so good. Is your mouth watering yet? Good, because it's time to eat it up. It's pink pizza, and so it's definitely not your typical pizza at all. We wanted something that, you know, would make people want to come to us, like, want to be like, what, what's so different about them? But we just really hope they come out and get good pizza and uh, just have a good time. I have to know, what is this pink sauce? Well, it is heavy whipping cream, curry paste. Okay. Which sounds spicy. It does. And then sweet chili sauce. Is it spicy? No. People ask for this, I assume? Yes. They definitely normally get extras with it. It's, it reminds me of something that you're just not going to get anywhere else. Right. So we have cheese sticks. Are they pink? No, okay. they are not right. pink. You can always dress up your cheese sticks and make them what we like to say is bougie. Bougie, and, huh? Yes. <laughs> A lot of the kids, when they come, they scream, whoa, and you're like, they open the box yeah. for the first time and they realize it was pink. We have parents who tell us that kids won't eat pizza unless it's ours. So, of course, we have our classic pink pepperoni. It is our top seller. We have our cheese, which, of course, has a little bit of a spin on it. We put three different types of cheese on it. For our dads out there, we have our meat pizza, which we like to call nice to meet you. And then my personal favorite, the Pink Paradise, and it has pineapple and ham on it. We met when we were one and two years old at dance class, which everybody says is where you make your long-term friends, which okay. in this case, it's true. We'd always <laughs> made jokes about how we would somehow end up working together one day, but uh, you know, we never thought it would be a food truck. We just really hope that we can really get our name out there and share our pizza with people and continue to give back. Hey, you got a pink pepperoni pizza for me? Excellent. What about some bougie cheese sticks? Bougie indeed. Look, they even ride on every single box. Over a hundred a day. That's impressive, but it's time to eat. I love it. The crust is chewy. It's got like this wonderful texture on the outside. Oh, and let me remind you, it's pink. For this week's installment of Eat It Up, we traveled south to Rowley's Stomping Ground. Welcome to Hot Springs, and we're going to check out Squeeze Box. I know you've been hearing about it, and I know you call this show Eat It Up, but this week we're going to really have to take it in. There is all kinds of atmosphere and history inside this building, way more than all the good stuff they throw on top of these pizzas. The story behind how this place came about is one you just got to hear. I'm ready to take it in. I'm ready to eat it up. Are you ready? Let's, Let's eat, eat it up. up. Where are the vowels and what have you done with them? What have you done with the vowels? There, there were only five windows above the entrance, so we just had to go with the concept. Had to make it work. For the neon. Well, it all started in 2007. We had moved to Hot Springs and I had spotted this building and it was full of musical instruments and organs and pianos and we met Mr. Davis who was in here tinkering around. He did sell the building a few years later with everything in it. We were performing artists. Joe plays the accordion, I play the tuba, thus the name Squeezebox. We love the history of the building and we tried to preserve a lot of um, the history when we did the renovation. It would, would give people an environment and, and a feel for the history of this town. An authentic Jersey style pizza. We do a cold overnight ferment. We pre-roll our doughs to develop that flavor. Uh, it's not crunchy, it's not a crispy dough. It's got, it's got a tooth to it, it's got a chew. That's what we're going for here. We use whole milk mozzarella cheese on our pizza. As having such great business partners in Arkansas and help us sample and find the premium ingredients. And that's made a huge difference. I brew Reinheitskabut style, which is nothing but whole malt, hops, water, and yeast. I serve right out of the bright tanks into the taps, six beers on at any one time. And then I also have a farmhouse style cider, literally only apple juice and yeast. Cheers to Zach. Born in New Jersey, so if so they're it's a Jersey style me, pizza for you. If the crust is right, huge big pizza, cheesy bite mm. that you get in that first one when you fold a pizza like that. Everything is on that piece of pizza. I'm not using a fork to eat my pizza, I'm just doing some housekeeping. <laughs> just come try it and you'll understand. There are sub sandwich options as well. 
Farms. They also make their own ranch dressing. Like we put ranch on everything, everything. Ranch with pizza? Yes. Ranch with chicken? Yes. Ranch with your sandwich? Yes. Ranch with your coffee? Weird, but yes. Ranch with your coffee? I know. Kind of let that run away. <laughs> it's not delivery, it's the Pizza House. We're here at Pizza House in Maumel, and this new restaurant is serving up authentic New York style pizzas. This family owned operation has literal decades of experience making only the freshest of pizzas. I'm so hungry. Are you ready to go? Can we please eat it up? Yes, let's go. I make New York style pizza. It's a crust, it's more crunchy. A special pizza oven, what we have, it pretty much makes a completely different taste of pizza. We use uh, the best cheese you can buy in the market for special for New York style pizzas. And we use premium uh, ingredients, especially meats and vegetables, pretty much we, we roast. So the taste is uh, completely different. Well, people so far, they've been here, they love the pizza. Real Italian pizza. I literally can't wait another second to eat this pizza. I'm going in with a margarita. I'm going for the Supreme. Mm. Salud. Mm, I love this crust. The minute he brought that basil out, we could smell it. The I mean, aroma. it was just so fresh. It's captivating. Mm. <laughs> captivating. We need like a, a scented candle that smells like this pizza. What if we just have a pizza from here at all times? I, I see we're going, mm -hmm. and I'm going with you. Mm -hmm. We have a stromboli, we have pepperoni roll, and chicken roll. It's most popular, it's been spinach roll. And also, we have a calzone. Can you imagine happening mm -hmm. in my mouth mm -hmm. right now? And the magic is cheese. The ricotta cheese is so good. Oh, yeah. A nice blend with the mozzarella, the sausage. Wow. Look at that. This is a fusion of flavors that only the gods could dream of. Oh, look at all that cheese. Mm. I love the crust on this too. It's very similar to the pizza. It's a hard choice between the pizza and the calzone look, because been, they're so good. I've been telling you, there's no reason to decide between the two. You have both. So get a calzone and then a slice. There you go. If you have you know a bunch of kids and nobody right. can agree, it's like, okay, everybody just get whatever slice you want and you can you know tone down the drama. How many places can you do that? It's like an empanada almost, like a pizza empanada, handheld. I don't know what an empanada is. I'll show you. Oh yeah, like so, a fried pie. Yeah. But. <laughs> Why didn't you say that? <laughs> Why didn't you say fried pie the first time? Well, I love calzones because they're kind of like, you can just hold them and eat them. Kind of like pizza, I guess. Kind of like <laughs> pizza. You know, the best way to lose those COVID-15 pounds that you, that you gained over the past year is to eat some more. Yes. And we're about to do that right now. Eat it up, it's back, Amanda. Oh my gosh, it's been one year too long of not having all this food in front of us. I'm so excited we are back supporting local restaurants. They need us and we Ooh. need them. Oh, we need some pizza, U.S. pizza here in Hillcrest. And this is one of 15 U.S. pizzas throughout the area. And there's a reason why there's so many of them, Amanda. I can't wait to eat it all, enjoy the scenery. It's a great patio and we are ready to go. Let's eat it up. Let's do it. Most places you're not going to get pizzas like we serve them. One of our most popular is the Dave's favorite. It's got a roughly 12 to 15 toppings on it. And we use high quality ingredients and everything just tastes great. Mm. You're getting so many flavors in every single bite because there are a lot of ingredients on here. And people beg for this to get on the menu. This is just a couple, but it's really good. Mm. We got pepperoni, we got ham, we got sausage, Canadian bacon, oh yeah. That crust is like a cake. Mm -hmm. It's like a pie. Mm. Same dough for 49 years. Wow. Do you have a starter back there in the fridge from 49 years ago, or is it not like the sourdough? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard I love your salads more than I've loved your pizza since I've worked here. And that house dressing, I don't know what, what's about it, but it's just addicting. People cover their pizzas with that stuff. <laughs> Don't call it ranch, the house dressing. This is my demise, is what this is. All right. I'm sorry, Rob, but I'm pouring almost all of it on my salad, okay? Rude. You're not getting very much <laughs> of it. Another official pizza that everybody gets on the weekend, Sunday Warrior. It's a breakfast pizza, y'all. I could eat pizza for breakfast like every day, right? Like that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can be a Monday through Sunday warrior. <laughs> absolutely. On Saturdays and Sundays from 10 to 3, we have our brunch specials. You can get frittatas, breakfast pizzas, $10 bottle of champagne, and sit on patios with great weather and enjoy company with your friends. Mm. Alfredo and olive oil. Okay, that's why it doesn't taste like a pizza. It tastes like a lasagna in my mouth kind of thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's Mexican, so I don't know, but it's lasagna. It tastes like a good lasagna. <laughs> Whatever it is, I like it. 
<laughs> That's because the crust is so strong that it landed crust first and bounced off of her silk shirt. It did. <laughs>